Hi, my name's Krista Powell. I'm founding member of Topology, violinist and creative director. The War Artist, it's a creative development we're doing at the moment with several creatives. So it started several years ago. A school that we were working with in Dolby was working on the War Artist as a high school project and we became involved in that. And then we decided to take it and make it our own basically and do a completely different treatment of it. John has a really particular way of creating emotional narrative to things. He has a really un incredible uh, understanding of harmony and what it can do for emotions. Hey, my name's John Babbage and I'm a saxophonist, founding member of Topology and composer of the music for The War Artist. Yeah, it was a really great story. How can we topologize this a, l a little more and, and make it our own? Yeah, de describing uh, my music is it's always hard, I think, you know, I tend to want the listener to tell me <laughs> what they think. Um, I, I, just, I write the, the music that I want to hear, I guess, so a lot of the, the, the scenes where we're going to be performing, um, I'm taking maybe the perspective of the character, what, what they might be thinking in this particular scene, or the music also might be trying to portray a feeling to the audience on how maybe they should feel. I'm Simon Cleary, I'm the author of The War Artist, which is a novel about the journey that a veteran from the Afghanistan war goes through uh, when he returns home to Australia. And it's a journey about uh, him, but it's also a journey about two um, other protagonists, uh, his wife, a nurse, and a tattoo artist who tattoos veterans and others who come back from the war uh, traumatised. And she is a healer. And so what that meant is, in terms of researching this book, I spent time uh, hanging out in a tattoo studio, in fact, every Friday afternoon for the best part of six months. Well, I opted for a light and line. So I, even though I'd still have to build the characters and skin them and rig them, I was looking for a much more economic, expressive um, look, uh, partly for the audience and partly for myself as the animator so that I could uh, realize, uh, even though it's still a lot of work, it's not an impossible amount of work. I mean, we've just set up the, if you like, the, the style, the, uh, the look of it, the emphasis, the motifs there. Um, as it, it develops into a full show, it's to see it through, uh, to cover, to cover the, the story arc. Also because of it being line and light, we can, it, it encourages that looking through. So we look through the screen, or the screen in the foreground, to see the performers. This really is a work about love and the way that love can transform uh, and the way that art can transform. And so what I'm hoping is that for people in the audience who will watch this in you know, a year or two's time, that they will come away with an understanding, firstly, of the experience of soldiers, the experience of people who've suffered violence at home, but also will come away with a sense that there are ways in which art and human relationships and the best thing about human relationships can actually um, transform things from the dire to you know, something which is a, a lot better than that.